Hey guys, the last new 5 star of 1.3 has been announced and you'll never guess who it is. Hu Tao! Yeah, you're all totally surprised, right? Right? Thought so, but anyway... The Kuching banner ends in 4 days on the 2nd of March. Now that isn't really a whole lot of time to prepare, but for those of you that want to use that time to get ahead on preparing for her, at least a little bit, I got you covered. Let's go over all the stuff you need to ascend her. This is everything and thanks to World of Tevat for the pick. In case you don't know what all of these things are at a glance, I'll go over them. If you do, then feel free to skip ahead to the artifact and weapon part of the video. Now all these numbers are based on what you need to get her to level 90 by the way. And a level 90 does take 414 purple XP books, and a couple of spare blue ones too. Anyway, you'll need 168 silk flowers, and you can get these from out in front of the Wang Hu Inn, and in the upper levels of Liwei Harbor, outside of the two pavilions. You also need 46 Juvenile Jade from the new Elite boss that got added in 1.3. Bring somebody who has a barrier if you want to get through this boss quickly. You'll also need 18 of the White Rarity Whopper Flower Nectar, 30 of the green, and 36 of the blue. Your handbook will guide you to a lot of the Whopper Flowers on the map, but not all of them. If you want to get them all, there are plenty of great guides out there with some great routes. You can kill all the Whopper Flowers on the map once every day. You can also go and kill them in a friend's world if you really want to go hard on the grind. You can also buy them from Paimon store, but I wouldn't personally recommend it since you can farm these for free, but it's on you. Finally, you'll need the stones from the Pyro Flower boss, 1 green, 9 blues, 9 purples, and 6 yellows. You can also get these from the new rock boss you saw earlier, but only when the boss spawns infused with the Pyro element. You'll also need 420k Mora to use all this. Then there's what you need for her talents. You'll need Books of Diligence from the Taishan Domain. You can get them there on Tuesday, Friday, and of course, Sunday. You'll need 9 greens, 63 blues, and a whopping 114 purples. Now, you'll only need that many if you have 18 shards of Foul Legacy from Tartaglia. If you don't have that many, then you won't be able to use all 114 anyway. You can only fight Tartaglia once every week for a max of two of the same boss material, and possibly a third other material. But both of those things depend on if you get lucky. You need Whopper Flower Nectar for this too. 18 whites, 66 greens, and 93 blues. Then to max out her talents to level 10, you'll need three crowns. These only come from events for the most part. But there is one you can get by leveling the Big Dead Red Plant in Dragonspine. Now let's go over all the artifacts and weapons you want to look into getting for her. So in case you don't know, Hu Tao's attack stat is incredibly low, but Hu Tao is still a DPS character. And that's basically because Hu Tao can have a ton of health, and when you activate her elemental skill, your attack is increased based off of your max health. The attack bonus you get from this can't exceed 400% of your base attack. I heard you need around 52k health to get the full 400%, and that's if you're at talent level 10. Now to be clear, that is a rough number that I heard a few people use, so I don't really know if it's spot on or not. I also don't really know if it's possible to get that high unless you wail on our 5 staff of Homa. Now on top of all that, her elemental skill also turns all your attacks into pyro attacks. You can also get 33% bonus pyro attack if her health is 50% or lower. So as you guys can probably guess, you want to get all the health you possibly can. As far as artifact sets go, there aren't any 5 star sets that increase your health, so you'll mainly be focusing on the stats for that. Some sets I'd recommend are 4 piece crimson from the hidden palace of Zhao formula. All of your attacks are going to be pyro, so it is wise to buff your pyro attack. The 4 piece also gives you several buffs if you use certain elemental combos, and you are normally going to want to be using those. For the elemental skill bonus, you won't be getting more than one stack because they only last 10 seconds, and Hu Tao's elemental skill cooldown is 16 seconds, but it's still very worthwhile. If you don't want to run 4 piece, or you can't get 4 good pieces, you can run 2 piece Crimson with 2 piece Noblesse to buff her ultimate. Odds are you're going to be ulting a lot with her, so buffing this is definitely worthwhile. Noblesse comes from the Clear Pool and Mountain Cavern domain. You can also run 2 piece Crimson with 2 piece Wanderers if you're going to go hard with the elemental combos. Wanderers comes from bosses. Now there is another set from the Hidden Palace of Zhao Formula called Lava Walkers, and if you're the type of player that never really uses elemental combos, this is a set you could run on her too. The reason I only recommend using this if you never run elemental combos though, is in order to get the full effect of the 4 piece bonus, the enemies need to stay under the effects of Pyro. If you activate a combo, you need to reapply Pyro, 
so using elemental combos means you don't get good uptime on the set. Now I do personally recommend that you use any of the other sets so you can use elemental combos, since that is what's going to give you the biggest hits, but it's totally on you. Now let's talk stats. For main stats, the flower and feather are of course locked. For the timepiece you want health percent, then for the goblet you want pyro percent since that is going to buff you more than health percent, and for the circlet you want either crit rate or damage. It depends on your substats. If you can get to around 50-60% to 60 crit rate, you can run damage. If not, then you're running rate. As for substats, both the crit ones are fantastic. Health percent is also fantastic. You definitely want as much as you can get of that. Flat health is okay too. Attack percent and flat attack are okay, but they won't give you as big of a buff as health will. ER is another fantastic stat, and so is Elemental Mastery. Defense of any kind, however, is best to left avoided. Her best 3 overall stats are the crit ones and health percent. You can fill the 4th depending on what's more important to you. That's if you get lucky enough to get god roll artifacts though. <laughs> Anybody have any yet? Feel free to flex in the comments. The only thing I got that's really good is a flower with both the crit stats, health percent, and ER. Everything else is okay or mediocre. <laughs> Moving on to weapons, there are several weapons you can go for on her. For 4 stars, there's Deathmatch from the Battle Pass, Dragon's Bane from Rolls, and Black Cliff Pole from the Paimon Store. Lithic Spear from the current weapon banner is also a great one if you're running other leeway characters alongside Hu Tao, three others ideally of course. Now Black Cliff is the only good pole arm on her that is technically free to play. Outside of that, Hu Tao doesn't really have any good free to play pole arms, since all the others are either not good, or they're for characters that do physical attacks. Now the Paimon store weapons rotate monthly, and I'm not really positive on exactly when the Black Cliff set will be back. But anyway, for 5 stars, Staff of Homa is her absolute best weapon. It is specifically made with her in mind. The banner for it is running right now if you're brave enough to attempt the pull for it. For what I've heard, the rates for Homa and Gravestone are 1 to 3, so Homa doesn't really have great odds. Another good 5 star weapon for her is the Primordial Spear. Its banner did end not too long ago, but it can still come from the standard banner as well. Anyway though, that's everything I have to offer right now. Hopefully you've been preparing for her already. If not, then again you do have 4 days to get as far as you can. And also however many days it takes for you to roll for her. I would have made this video earlier, but I don't really like making content on leaks, so I was waiting for her to be revealed. But yeah, good luck with the grinding, and hopefully you're all able to bring Hu Tao home. I'll definitely be making some videos on her once I get her and level her up, so look forward to that. But anyway, that's it for this video. I want to thank y'all for watching, I very much appreciate it, and I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye!